Hello, I'm Jean and I'd like to welcome you again to my garden here at the Hunter's Trist in Edinburgh. It's glorious today, but we had quite a bit of frost last night, as you can see. Since we last met, I've had several small groups of visitors to the garden and it's been lovely to be able to show them what's earning its stripes just now. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So, sit back and enjoy. It's feeling quite autumnal now and you can see a definite change in the colour palette. There's a mellowness creeping in. The colours are much more muted and the garden is lacking those bright splashes of white now that the phlox has gone over. Autumn's a good time to take stock of how the garden has performed over the summer months and to consider what changes and additions might be necessary. Whenever I visit a garden, part of my brain is always on the lookout for ideas to enhance my own garden. I want to show you one of my favourite plants. It's a dogwood, Cornus Midwinter Fire, and over the summer it looks really quite ordinary. You can see its red stems, and the autumn leaf coloration is lovely, but it's only when it drops its leaves that you see the true beauty of this plant. Over the winter months, it glows when most other plants are taking a rest. Isn't it just fabulous? The hosta has definitely had it for the summer, but this wonderfully reliable red rose just keeps on giving. It's late in the year, and there are not many flowers that I haven't shown you already. This Hebe has wonderful big pink fluffy flowers which stand out well against the glossy green leaves. And this sedum is called Autumn Joy for good reason. Butterflies love it. Another late season addition is this pale pink Nereen. We used to call these Michaelmas daisies, but now called asters, they brighten up a corner when other flowers are finished. As you might expect, winter jasmine, or jasmine nudiflorum, has beautiful yellow starry flowers over the winter. But this one has got started with the winter display already. Autumn is the season for berries on the trees and bushes. This variegated holly is covered with berries, though they're only just beginning to turn red now. And unlike the usual rowan, this one, called Joseph Rock, has yellow berries. Most birds don't care for them, but the wood pigeons and blackbirds will strip all the berries off before winter. Thank you very much for joining me today. And remember, my garden is still open for small groups of visitors, so if you would like to come along and see it in person, get in touch. I plan to take you on one or two more garden tours over the winter. There won't be so much flamboyant colour in the garden, but those plants that are stars over the winter months are truly worth their weight in gold. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.